with Ben O'Connor, Viermo, Durbridge and Bennett not taking the start of stage 10, we are down to 161 riders. Especially the loss of Bennett could have quite an impact on the race, given that Pogacar now sees his team of domestiques reduced to five, one of them being Hirschi, who keeps on struggling and it's doubtful he'll be able to do any work. As expected, stage 10 went to the break, who got a massive lead. As expected, stage 10 went to the break, who got a massive lead on the bunch, as a result of which we saw Kemna and Luis Leon Sanchez breaking into the top 10. And besides, there were no changes in the standings where it comes to the GC positions, something that is certain to happen on stage 11. In the green jersey competition, it's business as usual. In stage 10, we saw Latour sprinting for some polka dot points, yet atop the standings, nothing changes. This will certainly be the case tomorrow, given that on stage 11, there's a whopping 55 K1 points on offer, a clear indication of what is to come. There's a high chance that stage 11 will be deciding for the outcome of this year's Tour de France. It's a 152 km long stage with a beautiful La Sede de Mont Vernier as a warm-up, followed by the first category Col du Telegraph, to then gain another 1000 meters to the or category Col du Galibier, followed by descent over the Lotare, and the finish atop another or category climb, the Col du Granon. The Galibier is the highest point of this year's Tour de France, reaching an altitude of 2600 meters, yet in terms of difficulty, it's nothing compared to what comes next. A finish on top of the Col du Granon. I've ridden both of them, and the Galibier is a walk in the park compared to the Col de Granon, which does not relent at any point and remains slightly above 9% throughout. If Jumbo and Ineos play this smart and have the guts to go for it, they could already isolate Pogacar on the Galibier, to then go ballistic on the Col de Granon. Here's the stage shots at the time of recording, with Pogacar and Vinegar clear favorites. I really can't wait to watch stage 11, it is going to be GC Mayhem, in the run-up to the Tour, I imagined Martinez laying the foundation for his maiden Tour victory here, yet by now we all know that's not going to happen. So for the stage favorites, there's Pogacar at UAE, Bardet at DSM, Vinegard and Roglic at Jumbo Visma, and Geraint Thomas and Yates at Ineos. Codu at Groupama, Mas at Movistar, and Caruso at Bahrain. Then there's the Colombians, Quintana and Duran, who should thrive at these altitudes, and finally, there's Manchester at Intermarché. It will also be interesting to see where the top climbing domestiques, such as for example Kuss at Jumbo Visma, will end up. In terms of stars, Vinegard and Pogacar get four stars. Yates and Roglic get three stars. Terrain Thomas, Bardet, Godu and Quintana get two stars. Uran and Manchester each get one star. In terms of podium prediction for stage 11 of the 109 Tour de France, I have Vinegard in the lead, followed by Roglic and Pogacar. Thanks for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Like and subscribe and see you tomorrow.